First of all, um, I have no comment about the meeting yesterday because there were no other trustees to support that meeting. That was one person's idea and one person's choice. We have made a choice as a co collective. And honestly, I believe it should be solidified. We made the choice, there was consensus. And because a person was not happy with it, it turned into a whole circus. So I, I don't support that particular um, meeting. The meeting today was already preempted. Initially, we were not supposed to have community engagement, but since we are, I'm fine with that. I'm always ready to hear from the community. The only opposition I have is that everyone that has chimed in is not there. My supporters are saying, we elected you to make the best decision on behalf of Fresno Unified, and we believe in what you want to do. If we are not growing our own, if we do not trust that we are growing our own, what are we doing? That means that we as a board and the leadership that we've chosen are not good, good enough for the district. So the fact that we said, and this is exactly what it should have been, Anissa, is we want to interview internal first. And I've said that a million times. We never said we were not gonna go national. We never said we were not gonna go statewide. However, people have ulterior motives and they're thinking about what they can get out of the process if they can pressure us into making a different decision. I always stand on my word. However, I never say that I, it can't be changed if somebody can make me see a different, a different way. You know, because I'm not always right. And I'm by no means saying that. However, there are some spaces out there right now that are not true. And people are listening more to the negative than they are really listening to what's being said. Let's do this first and then that. Yeah. It's plain and simple. And 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 quite honestly, you know, some of the people that are uh pouring into the uproar are people who want to be candidates and they're not internal. So guess what? They want to make it about them and not the process. We tell our students at graduation, come back to Fresno, come back to Fresno Unified, work for us. Let us grow our own, you know, our own people here in the valley that understands the valley. But here we are attacking the very people who are part of Fresno, making them feel uncomfortable, and making racist, racist remarks, and ha harassing their students. Is this really the way adults are supposed to behave in a democratic system? This is a democracy. Everybody has a choice. And we did our listening sessions. There has not been very many people who have said we want to go national until it was time to actually do the interviews. And I stand on my word and I stand on what I said. However, I do think that because of what has happened, we may need to take a break and come back to this later. So that's my honest opinion. Yeah. And you um, you made a good point about how you said you wanted to, um, your stance is you want you guys want to start with uh, looking at internal candidates first. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is so important and why that why is that the best option for Fresno Unified students? Again, we're growing our own. We want to see what they have to offer before we bring in a lot of other people. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Again, we're not saying that is where the marker is going to stop. We're saying that's what is, where it's going to start. And I believe in my Fresno Unified family that we've grown, that has dedicated years of their lives to Fresno Unified. No matter what, they've dedicated their lives to us and our children. Some of them have dedicated their lives to me. Some people who, are, who have been in charge have been people that were my teachers or my principals. So that has always been my stance and that will continue to be my stance no matter. Um, and that was the board majority decision. 
And again, that comes back to somebody not being happy and 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 blowing it up and making it into something else. Yeah. And uh, there's been a lot of um, information circulating that um, they're looking into a specific candidate, and that's Misty Her. Is that who the hopeful elected person is, or are you guys open to looking at all of the internal and external candidates? No, we, we're looking into all of them. But she's the deputy. You know, let's be honest here. She's the deputy. We chose she was chosen to be the deputy because we felt that if anything happened to Bob Nelson, that Fresno Unified would be in good hands. But she's not the only candidate. So I can't say, you know, 100 percent that Misty would be our choice. But we trusted her enough to be deputy. Mm -hmm. You know, and and I really feel in my heart that because she is a woman of color, that is the reason why we are having so much backlash. I really do. This is the first, first woman of color, first woman period that have has ever been um, in this position. Misty has made history. She is the highest elected Hmong woman in education. But we are, not we, but people are attacking her. Mm -hmm. and, and that's not fair to her or the process because she's not the only person in the pool. You know, and I'm not going to, you know, give specifics, but she's not the only person in the pool. She's just the only one that people have been able to identify so she's the one that everyone is attacking. Yeah. And if it is not um if it is not Misty Her or whatever candidate um you guys are gonna look into, what qualities are you guys looking for specifically in that person that's gonna be elected? You know, funny and funny you should say that. Um number one, and the 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 what I heard most from people in the community is someone who understands Fresno, <laughs> you know? And if we choose somebody that does is not from Fresno, then guess what? They don't, they aren't going to know Fresno. Um, secondly, someone who is strong and willing to be uh, aggressive and progressive leader, especially where literacy and safety are concerned. Those are probably the top um, issues that people have we are really worried about our students testing their reading scores, making sure they can read by the third grade. And unfortunately, this whole um, circus, and I'm gonna keep calling it a circus, has completely shifted um, our focus from our students because students have testing in a few weeks. How are our teachers and administrators supposed to focus on that when the board is not cohesive and we're in the press constantly. And th these are not tests that we can postpone. So staff is also worried about this. So if we just put a placeholder on it, I would be okay with that. However, I'm not changing my mind. Yeah, um, a, a lot of what I'm, I'm seeing also is they are talking about the testing and how currently the scores are low. And mm -hmm. so, why is this so, why is this debate so important to our, our Fresno Unified kids? Why, are, why, why is, um, why is it so important? Well, leadership is not necessarily important to our kids, but it's important to our teachers. And if they're focused on this, how can they be focused on making sure that our kids are ready to push to the next level? How are we going to be aggressive about, you know, um, making sure our kids have, done the studying that they need to do, making sure that our kids are comfortable in classrooms. If my social emotional uh, status is not right, how am I going to give my kids that great energy if I'm worried about who's my next leader and what is that going to look like for my job? We have completely been focused on literacy. The team has done a wonderful job trying to figure out how do we fix this problem. And this is a problem before I was ever elected. This was a problem when I was a student 
And that's been more 30 years ago. So this is not a new problem, but it is something that we're trying to fix. And it's something that we want to fix because our kids, it's important for them to know how to fill out a job application. It's important for them to know how to read so that they can do math, science, and history, and ethnic studies, and whatever else they choose to do in their lives. Whatever direction they decide to go in, them being ready for testing is important. And that takes precedence over selecting the next superintendent. And it takes precedence over this circus is happening. So right now, I think it's it's really important for us to focus on that. Um, leadership is worried about teachers and staff members being able to do their jobs effectively. Yeah. And, and last question for you. Um, is there anything else you would like to add? Any other imp information I might have left out that you think um, is important our community should know about? You know, I, I I can't think of anything right now. I can think of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I think I think we we've touched on um, you know, you know what it is. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. I think had the Brown Act not being been violated, let me let me repeat so it's clear. I believe that had the Brown Act not been violated and our names hadn't been published in local paper that this would not have happened. We would not be under attack again. And we would be moving through a process um, that we were supposed to move through in the first place. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.